but there's a very simple way to check if your child is ready to move out of the booster seat right. and just be strapped in. Okay, will you tell us what, what yes. you mentioned five points. It's five points. Okay. Okay, so the first step, you put your child in the seat. They're, they must be sitting flush against the back of the seat mm -hmm. and with their bottom against yes. here. Mm -hmm. Their knees need to be over the edge and flat on the floor. Okay. If they can sit like that for an entire car seat, the car trip, they're tall enough to use a seat belt. And just the seat belt, no booster. Just the seat belt, but that's only one of the steps. They have to be able to sit like that right. with their feet flat on the floor. Then it needs to sit between the shoulder and the neck, across here, all the way across the chest. Mm -hmm. So the strongest points of your body, where there's no organs or anything to be... Okay, yes. so shoulder, chest, hip. Yes. Okay. So that's the second step. Mm -hmm. Third, must be across the upper thighs or the lap the pelvis, right. not on the tummy, can't uh -huh. be on the tummy. So low, Low. Not here. yes, it's called the lap belt. Yeah. It's supposed <laughs> to go over the lap, okay. yeah. So we have the sitting with the feet flat. So it's back, knees, feet. Yes. Then it's the shoulders. Shoulders, yeah. chest, hip. Yes, over the lap. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna be able to sit still. Like uh, you might have a really mm -hmm. tall kid, but if they can't sit still, then they're not safe. They're going to be moving the seatbelt around. Or worse, want to lie down. With want the to lie down the seatbelt. And what yeah. often children do is they put it behind them. Yes. That is so dangerous. Really? It, yes, because then the only thing holding them is the lap belt. And so the whole body. The whole mm. body can move. And, and what about those who's strapping their older children under the arm instead no. of over? No. Under. <laughs> Never, ever, ever. It's so dangerous. But that again, people do that because the children complain that there's something across their neck. Mm. Um, if you've got a booster seat, it doesn't sit across their necks. So there's no need for them to move. Mm. So, you know, you've got to take yeah. it all into account. Yeah. Yeah. And then booster seats in the front passenger seat? No. Not? Children should not be sitting in the front until they're at least 13 years old. Under any circumstances. Um, they do design some car seats, baby car seats, to be in the front mm -hmm. seat, but you have to ensure that the airbag, airbag is, is switched, switched off. off. Yeah. And I'm too scared of that because this, the, uh, yeah, the, the force that an airbag opens can yeah. Yeah. really hurt a child. In other words, all children under 12 in the back passenger seats. Yes. Strapped in appropriately. Preferably in a booster seat, yes. if they are still under 1.5 meters, which most will be. Yes. We know that not everyone can afford car seats. Yes. I mean, that's, that's a biggie in South Africa. Yeah. Um, how, how do we ensure that every child gets a car seat? You've got a campaign, yes. don't you? Yes. Um, part of the car seat full stop campaign is um, we, we, we launched on Mandela Day and in honor of that we dedicated 67 days of the campaign to raising awareness around Wheelwell. Wheelwell is an organization based in Joburg who collects second-hand and used car seats. They completely refurbish them, clean them, make sure they are 100% safe right. and then it is available to anyone who can't afford a car seat for a small donation whatever they can afford. So, Wonderful. you know, it, you can get a top of the range car seat that has been fully refurbished for 150 Rand, if that is all you can afford. So, so how can I donate my used car seats to them? Well, you can, do, you can go to any Volvo dealership anywhere in the country and you can take them your secondhand car seats and they will get all of those car seats to Wheelwell at the end of the 67 days. Fantastic, so. and if I need a car seat, how can I contact Wheelwell? You can find them on Facebook the best way to find them. They also have a website. You can find them there. Peggy Mars is the person to speak to. She knows everything there is to know about car seats. She's been taking them apart for quite a few years now. So she's literally learned from the inside out. Wonderful. Yeah. And um, people can also find the Wheelwell link on your website. Yes. yes. Um, you've got a website, Thumbs to Tots. Yes. And obviously your blog, Pregnant in Cape Town as well. Yes. And then the campaign, the it campaign. also has a web website. Yes, it does. It's carseatfullstop.org. You can go there, you will find everything you need to know, plus links to all articles, educating people around all the different aspects of car seat safety. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mandy. Thank Thanks you so for much. joining us.